Okay, so here are some old jeans that I have and they have a grass stain on the knee and this one has, this knee has also grass stain, but it's not nearly as bad. So I'm going to dip these jeans into an indigo vat just to see if I can give them a little more new life um, because they're kind of ruined and I feel like I have nothing to lose. So here's the vat. It's an older vat and I'm gonna just punch it up a little bit with some chemicals and then I'm gonna dip. I'm just gonna dip them untied. I want them to be kind of an even dip. So I'm gonna dip them and agitate it and then take them out. I'm just gonna try to revive these jeans so it doesn't need to be super strong. They're already really blue but the grass stain on them is problematic. So let's see if we can upcycle them, give them a little bit more use. So I'm just going to mix this up. Really mixing it to reactivate all the indigo that's already been in there. So here's my foam and I'm just going to take it off and put it to the side. Now these jeans are pretty big so I'm going to get as much of the foam off as I can so that I don't get foam on the jeans. Alright, so next I'm going to dip. Alright, so I got all the bubbles off and now I'm going to dip these jeans going to try to just keep them down and agitate them, keep them in there. Now I didn't tie them up. This is not traditional shibori, but I am going to kind of just let these hang out in here for a few minutes because I want it to get really as blue as can be. Then I'll come back and check on them in a little bit. Okay, so these have been in here for a few minutes, probably about 10 minutes max. And I'm just gonna take these bubbles off and then I'm gonna take the jeans out and we'll squeeze them out. Get my gloves on. These have been soaking. Trying to get them up the waistband first. Ooh, this is a big mess. I'm gonna try to fold them in half, squeeze the top down. So now I'm going to lay these flat and let them dry and I'm going to take a look at the knees once they've started to kind of dry a little bit and decide whether to dip them again. They're so wet right now it's really hard to know but I think that it's going to be an improvement. sit here for a little bit all right so it's been soaking again for a 
couple minutes. I'm just sort of pushing it down, keep it submerged, and I'm going to take it out and wring it out soon. Okay, so I re-dipped them and just rang them out. And they're looking very, very dark. So I'm gonna just let them dry again. And then I'm gonna wash them and see how they turn out. So these have been drying for um, probably about 12, 14 hours and they're totally dry. They're really blue and crispy so they're ready to be put into the washer and i'm really excited to see how they turn out but i love the new dark blue color and i'm pretty happy with the results so far so i washed these on with hot and i used synthopol i washed them twice just to make sure we could get all the extra indigo out and i think they turned out really nice they look brand new for the care instructions, I'm just going to continue to wash them with darks and be careful when I'm wearing them. I have noticed that some of the indigo does rub off just like it would with a brand new pair of jeans, but this is a great way to revive your denim if you want to do like a dark wash on them. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will be putting the Synthopol and um, links to the Indigo recipe um, and components in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me.